Good morning, and welcome to our altar side chat this morning. I want to teach you an entire verse from the Bible today. That verse is from John chapter 11, verse 35. It's a very important verse, so pay attention. Here it is. Jesus wept. Did you get it? Have you got it memorized? Jesus wept. It's important for us, and it explains to us many of the same things that are explained in different parts of the Bible. But it's such a short verse, anybody can memorize it. Jesus wept. Remember, his friend, Lazarus, had died. Jesus knew that Lazarus was sick, and he knew that sickness could lead to death. And Jesus loved his friend, and he loved his friend's sisters. Mary and Martha. Jesus loved them all. And he knew that Lazarus' sickness would be leading and resulting in his death, but also it would result in glory being given to God. Now, That didn't mean that Mary and Martha knew what God was planning to do. And you and I, as we're sitting and we're waiting through this virus isolation, don't know exactly what God has planned for us either. What we do know, because Jesus wept, is that God has mercy on us. He pities us. He feels what we feel. The book of Hebrews says that Jesus was tempted in every way, just as we are, yet without sinning. Jesus wept for Mary and Martha. And Jesus knew that there were other people who were friends of Lazarus as well, and that they would be sad that he had died. Even though Mary and Martha knew the beautiful and the wonderful truth, that Lazarus had faith in Jesus as the promised Christ, the Messiah, who was to come, and that he would rise again on the last day, they would still be sad at the loss of their beloved brother. Jesus knew what they would feel, and Jesus wept. Now we jump forward more than a mile in space and several days in time. Right now, I'm sitting here in an empty church, looking at empty seats, and this is Holy Saturday. 
same Jesus who wept in empathy for his friends who were grieving the loss and the death of someone that they loved, knew that all of his disciples and his friends would be mourning and sad and downcast over his death as well. Even though he had told them multiple times that he must suffer and die and rise again, Jesus knew they would experience grief. Jesus knows whatever it is that you're feeling now. Maybe you had a little bit of initial elation when the coronavirus isolation started and you thought, wow, maybe I'll get a little more free time to work on the honeydew list at my house. Or maybe it'll seem extra joyful and I'll have some extra time with my family. And then you go to the store and you try to find everything on your shopping list. Yesterday, I went to the store and I tried and I tried to find the broccoli that my wife had put on the list. And I couldn't find it. There was no fresh broccoli. There was no frozen broccoli. Couldn't find any toilet paper either. Things are different now. And some people are bearing that burden. Some are kind of grieving the loss of the way things used to be before we needed to be locked into our homes. But the same Jesus who went into the locked doors in the house where his disciples were hiding for fear of the Jews and who sought them out is still alive. The same Jesus who went back to show himself his hands and his feet and his side to Thomas knew how they were feeling. The same Jesus who wept when he saw the grief of Mary and Martha over the death of their brother, even though Jesus knew he would very shortly raise him from the dead, that same Jesus knows exactly what you're feeling right now. Jesus experienced grief and according to his human nature, suffering as well. Jesus loved you enough to know that he would go to the cross to suffer and to die and rise again so that one day you and I when we're finished with all of the illness of this world, all of the grief, all of the tears, that we will go and we will see Jesus face to face. And because he knows we need support and encouragement until that day, he has sent us his Holy Spirit in our baptism, in the spoken, written, and sung gospel, and in the Lord's Supper. God is with us. He's with us in forgiveness and peace and joy in the person and work 
of the Jesus who wept. In his holy name, amen. As you are behind your locked doors in your house, remember, Jesus can go to you and be with you and that he actually does feel your pain and he bears your grief and your sadness and that he has promised to make all things new and that there is a time that this will be finished with the perfect word that Jesus has from the cross it is finished once for all time with lasting results forever and ever. Jesus wept because he knew of his friends grieving. Jesus knows exactly how you're feeling and you can go to him at any time in prayer. We thank and praise Jesus for his great love for us.